Hi, my name is Carrie Coakley, and today I'm going to show you how to design a screw retaining crown. The first step is to align your scan flag. Use the three point alignment. This will give you more surface area to align to and give you a better overall mesh. This is an important step. If your scan flag is not aligned properly, you will have an inaccurate design. This is the look that you're looking for, a mesh appearance. The second step is the insertion direction. This is where you can set your insertion direction of your crown. This looks good, so I'll go to the next step. As you can see, the open implant's titanium base is visible here. Step three is the pre-design step. In the pre-design step, you are designing your crown to size. I usually work from left to right, working in larger movements and then going to smaller movements. So I will start off with the transformation tool, then the morphing tool, and then the sculpting tool. Step four is the emergence profile. I like to use the snap to gingival option. You can see that it adapts to the tissue really well. Step five is the final sculpt anatomy design. This is where your crown connects to your emergence profile and where you can make small adjustments. The final step is finalizing your crown. I like to do a 2D cross section of my crown just to make sure I have enough material around the titanium base. Then your crown is ready to be milled. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at Open Implants.